there's a lot of stuff changing for Battlefield 5. After watching this video, you'll see how DICE was serious when they boasted that the Battlefield will never be the same. There's a lot of changes to go through, so I'll list them all for you today so you can know what to expect when Battlefield 5 finally arrives. Starting off here, Battlefield 5 will automatically put you in a squad when joining a game, and compared to previous games, you will spawn with less ammunition, making support's role on the battlefield more important. If you remember, all the way back in Battlefield 1 when the ammo 2.0 scenario was going down, it attempted to make support more useful. Eventually, ammo 2.0 was largely scrapped, but it looks like Battlefield 5 is attempting to make support more relevant in this game. When a support player drops ammo, you, the player, have to actively interact with the ammo crate in order to receive ammunition. Not really sure how to feel about that. Also, capture flags will have ammo and health for the player to use, which I think is a nice addition. Also, if you do not have access to an ammo crate, you can loot dead enemies for ammunition. If you're wounded in Battlefield 5, you are able to regenerate health passively to a certain HP threshold, which is unknown at the moment. Not sure how I feel about this, but I'll have to see it used in practice. They've also changed how revives work in this game, and any soldier can revive each other, granted, if they're within your squad. This new revive, called a buddy revive, will generally take a long time and will only revive the downed player to a certain amount of HP. Medics will still of course be the fastest and most effective revivers, but revives in this game are longer compared to previous titles. This is in an attempt to make Battlefield 5 revives more meaningful and important. You can also drag teammates' bodies to a safer location in order for them to be revived. Previously, bodies in need of revives were client-side, making medics revive you in different locations where you thought your body landed. The bodies and ragdolls in Battlefield 5 are server-side this time around, so your dead body will be in the same location for both you and everyone on the server. Speaking of revives, when you're down and waiting for a revive, you can control your bleed-out speed and yell out for a medic. The overall spotting in Battlefield 5 has been reworked, but DICE didn't go into specifics as to what actually changed, but I assume it somehow revolves around 3D spotting and turning the game to be less of a Dorito shooter in certain situations. The top-down map overview screen still exists in Battlefield 5, but also brings back the camera screens for spawning on squad mates. Hopefully this will reduce the number of unlucky spawns. Movement changes are also interesting to look at. You can shoot while falling down in Battlefield 5, and your soldier model better reacts to the environment around you compared to previous titles. You can also sprint in a crouch position, but your sprint will be much slower than a normal sprint. You can now dive to your sides and through windows, and you could fall on your back to fire forward, similar to Rainbow Six Siege, and you also have access to the usual slide. One brand new gameplay changer is the new fortification system. Like in Battlefield 1 how every soldier has access to a gas mask, everyone in Battlefield 5 will have access to a toolbox. This toolbox will allow you to build fortifications, rebuild buildings that were destroyed, make foxholes, MG and AA gun emplacements, and more. The support class can build and rebuild these fortifications much easier and faster compared to other classes, and fortifications are obviously still destructible. It'll be interesting to see how this will play out in-game. It may be something really important in changing the tide of battle, or something that barely anyone will use. Battlefield 5 will also feature archetypes. These are subclasses in the game, each with different abilities and perks. You can build weapons, and use it to unlock different specializations and attachments for the gun. The same thing applies to vehicles. And that about wraps up all the major gameplay changes for Battlefield 5. Battlefield is learning and taking on elements from other games. They definitely meant it when they said that the Battlefield will never be the same. For the most part, these new mechanics seem good and interesting, with a few questionable mechanics, but I'll remain optimistic. And as always, it's been Bloodhound, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.